You know, we have a, still a lot of room to improve and get better. Uh, the injury to Bynum obviously, you know, kind of impacts our learning curve a little bit. Uh, but we're going to keep pushing and, you know, take care of our business as we as we go ahead. And what do you think the competition in the Western Conference right now is compared to other years? Um, is it wide open? I think it's, uh, yeah, I think it's, it's wide open in the sense of, you know, I, I think for, for a few years there was, you know, kind of a clear cut, you know, top three teams, you know, maybe four if you want to throw another team in. And, and there was a clear cut difference between those teams that were there in five through eight. And, and I don't know if that gap is as big, you know, this year as it's been in the past. I think there are uh, a lot of really good basketball teams. And, uh, you know, we'll have to prove that we're the, the better and greater team you know, when the time presents itself. You talked about the learning curve. Is this team still learning to play with Andy because of all the games he's missed over the last couple of years? No, I don't know if it's about learning to play with him. I, I just think that we've, um, you know, with guys in and out at different times, uh, you know, as well as a, a, a heavy road schedule for this latter part of the season that in some ways has impacted our ability to really have good quality practices and, you know, really get better, put that work in that, that you have to put in. Um, you know, it slowed us down somewhat, but uh, I think because of our experience and that we're, you know, most concerned about really being healthy and, you know, having all of our guys available as the postseason starts, you know, we feel like we have some room to, to continue to push and, and get better. And, uh, you know, we, we obviously want to secure, uh, you know, the Western Conference uh, record best record and uh, you know we, we have an outside chance at overall best but we don't necessarily expect Cleveland to drop three or four games here in the next couple weeks so we're, we're going to really just focus on ourselves and you know try and get to a place where we're playing much better basketball as the postseason starts and then hopefully you know try to get better as that advances. Derek, during your consecutive game streak I'm sure you had to play with injuries before uh, how important is it that Lamar is playing through this short injury for you guys now especially with Andrew going out and, and having him well, I think it's always important, whether it's, uh, you know, myself or Lamar or, you know, Kobe, any, anybody on the team uh, to, you know, basically report to work as long as you're, you know, physically able to. And, and there are times where, you know, the injuries prevent guys from, you know, being able to play. And, uh, you know, I don't think anybody ever chooses not to be out there with their team if they, if they could be. Uh, but I, I think it's important you know, that, uh, you know, guys that are veterans and, and, and your your key guys, uh, you know, even if it impacts your performance, so to speak, uh, your presence is really more valuable than your statistics. And so, you know, we appreciate Lamar going through what he's going through physically, still, you know, going out there mixing it up and doing all those little things that, that help us win games. Where is this? Is this a time for tightening down the screws? Uh, yeah, do I, I don't think there's. You know, we've talked about that for a while. You know, we we wanted to. Get better, improve, sharpen up. Uh, you know, become more efficient. And you know, we've, we've um, some of it our own doing in terms of you know still not doing the things that get us there. And then some of it, uh, you know, just at the right time or wrong time. It seems like you know you lose Kobe for five or six games, or you lose Sasha, or you lose you know Luke Walton's been out a lot, and uh, and you know most recently losing Andrew. And so um, you know, even though there's subtle things, or it's just one guy. You know, it, it really has impacted our rotation and a lot of the things that we can do and like to do. Uh, but, you know, we aren't using any excuses at all. We're still, you know, holding ourselves accountable. And uh, we don't like the way we're playing necessarily, but, um, you know, I'll take the wins as ugly as they are. I'll take them and, uh, you know, let's just continue to win games and then we'll figure out the way they're supposed to look <laughs> as we go. Let's just keep winning. Uh, with the setbacks, do you feel like you're making progress with it, you know, just as far as? mental attitude, urgency, whatever? Uh, somewhat. You know, not uh, necessarily at the pace that I would like or, you know, Kobe or our coaches, you know, our guys that are the most experienced. Uh, but, you know, we aren't trying to, uh, you know, overreact or put an overemphasis on, you know, these games as we wrap up this regular season. Uh, but yeah, I think we've shown definitely more glimpses in recent weeks than we had before. You know, I think we... You know, we hadn't even really been able to put together a good half, you know, before the last couple of weeks. And you know, even though we haven't won six games in a row in a very uh, 
efficient or, or you know, quote unquote, pretty manner. You know, we've we've had some better quarters, we've had some better halves and better moments, uh, but you know, we're still on the search for that. Uh, not even a perfect game necessarily, but you know, just a, a good solid four quarters that uh, you know speaks to us about the way we're playing. Last question, folks. How much of this is quantifiable? Yeah, you know, we spent so much time talking about you. Know, Staying sharp in this minute. When it comes to the playoffs, how much does a stretch of five games now impact how you guys will play in April, May, and June? That's a great question. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if it, uh, you know, if it does impact you long term. You know, I think we've, uh, you know, if you look at last year, we felt like we were playing better at this time of year. We were, you know, we had the best road record in the NBA, and a lot of things were, you know, looking great going into the postseason. And uh, you know, you look up, and in the second round, you're on the brink of elimination. You know, and so that there's really no formula or recipe or guarantee that anything is going to happen a particular way once the postseason starts. No matter how great you're playing or how poorly you're playing, uh, it, it takes really just staying focused on the moment and uh, you know being ready for that game that day. And you know, I think that's maybe what we can take from now is you know just continuing to push to. Uh, you know, have that level of accountability that no, no matter how, you know, the game is scheduled, who you're playing against, just being ready to play at, at that time. And, uh, you know, that's what we're trying to get better at doing so that when the postseason arrives, we, uh, you know, we're ready to go. Thanks, folks.